Well, good morning, everybody, and Happy New Year. It's Rose, and this is my first video that I'll be shooting uh, this year. Um, I've been uploading a few that I shot before I left for London last week, and those have been going up every second day, and so it's time to start recording some more. So I'll talk about my holiday and a drill with me that I'm going to do in a little while. Um, and uh, just thoughts on this and that and everything. Um, but for now, I still have three of the packages that were here uh, waiting for me when I got back from my cruise. And today I just picked a, another one at the post office. So now that's 17 packages that I've received in the last month. Um, and, and we're down to let the last four. So, um, I've been opening the ones that look the ugliest from the packaging first. So, to me, that makes it pretty clear that it's either going to be the first on the right, because the box is squished, or the second from the left, because ugly. Anyway, okay, so I'm going to do an eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Pippi, do you want to tell me which one? You want to tell me which one, baby? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to do this one. And this is one of the ones that I'm not actually sure what's in it because the tracking software that I use uh, didn't identify, like, uh, I think Canada Post stuck another label over top of this. And uh, anyway, I, I, I haven't been able to identify it. So... Uh, I'll give you all the details on it as I open it. Uh, I'm just going to reorient my camera and I will be back in a minute. Well, hey everybody. Um, okay, I don't know what happened. I accidentally, um, I guess I didn't hit record uh, as I was opening the package. Um, but, okay, so... I'm, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I don't know what happened. But, uh, so the package came, like it was well wrapped. There was a slight, a, a small slit, and it was a slit. It wasn't a rip. It was cut. A uh, small rip about that big here in the package. So that's where I cut it open from. Um, there was, there were about, I don't know, six or seven bits of tape that were securing the diamond painting. Uh, to keep it uh, rolled up tight. Um, they came off well and uh, the diamond painting appears to be, the canvas seems to be in, in excellent condition just based on this. Oh, there's another piece of tape. Um, seems to be in excellent condition. Uh, there's a little tiny crease here, but it's not on the painting itself. Okay, so then I was talking about um, the tubular bubble wrap. Uh, and how some people don't like it, but, you know, I like it. It tends to do a pretty good job, and it seems efficient. Um, so, and then there was a little note from the Color Whisper store, and uh, it says, Dear customer, thanks for your purchase. Due to your diamond beads were checked manually, so there will be a small probability that you will lose some of your diamond beads. Please don't directly open a dispute or leave us a negative feedback. This is a handwork involving product. So, mistakes happen, though we have tried our best to avoid mistakes. If you unfortunately missing something, please contact us first. We will give you a rapid response and try all our best to fix your problem. Your kind understanding will certainly help us a lot. And then it's got a little emoticon and the Color Whisper logo. I actually find this quite charming. Um, and there's the little emoticon. Isn't that cute? Okay, um, so there's that. Okay, so that I, I like, it's not a personal touch, it's not initialed or anything like that, but somebody put that in there and I appreciate it. Let's see what else they put in here. All right, they put in a regular kit. So a uh, boat with an opening, a uh, large-ish plate of wax, uh, tweezers with the bent ends and a single placer with, it looks like, I don't know, a nine, a nine placer. 
Um, so there we go. Oh, and uh, over the, okay, so I talked about a bunch of other stuff, which I'll repeat uh, when I do my drill with me later today. Um, but, uh, but one of the things that I tried to do over the holidays was, because I now have these 47 or 48 diamond paintings in my inventory. I've done maybe six or seven or eight of them. Uh, so there's still about 40 of them and most of them are big. So I have decided I'm going to become proficient with using the multi-placer tips. So over the holidays, I uh, was working on the Baby Boy Blue, which is the one I'm going to be doing the drill with me on again later today. I'm about two thirds done it. So I'm really excited. I think I'll be able to finish it this, well, I won't say this week, but I think I'll be able to finish it soon. Um, in the next week or so, and then when I go back to see my sister-in-law, I'll be able to give it to her. Um, but anyway, uh, one of the reasons I'm going faster on it is because I took a three-placer tip with me, and I found that that works great to place three or two diamonds at a time. And, um, and so I consider myself fairly proficient with that one. Uh, the only reason I don't consider myself highly proficient now with the three-placer is because I still, I don't know if it's the plate of wax that I'm using that's just past its prime, or, um, and I only took a couple of plates of wax with me because I was only going to be, like, I wasn't going to be diamond painting all the time. Um, anyway, because uh, I seem to be gooping up the painting quite a bit with, uh, with wax. So, um, so I, I have to perfect that, and that might be a case of trying an alternate sticky uh, solution. But anyway, so here we have the, uh, with the multi placer, and did I tell you about the foam core? Anyway, here's the foam core that it came with, and there's no uh, no hole in it, so I'll have to jam my my diamond painting pens in there. Okay, let's take a look at the drills because I think we're all excited by those. All right, let's know what I should do with these, but I usually just cut them open and toss them in the garbage. All right, so um, I saw somebody else order this painting and do an unboxing, and I fell in love with it. So it is, I call it uh, Peacock Girl, Butterfly Girl. Something like that. I'll show you the thumbnail that comes on the uh, the inventory. Oops, I'm sorry. I kicked the I kicked the camera. Um, that's her, and the diamond painting. I I, mm, I don't want to want to misspeak. I seem to recall it was Bexley Creations that posted it, but if I'm wrong, I, I apologize to both Bexley Creations and the actual uploader. Um, but I saw it and I thought, hmm, not the sort of thing I would normally buy, but I loved the way it looked in her video. And so I decided I'll take a chance. So here are the, the drill colors. I'll just give you a quick look because I'm going to do the inventory at the end of the video. So if you stick around for that, uh, you'll be able to see these in a little bit more detail. Okay, so let's set that aside. And now I want to set that aside behind the laptop. Okay, so I updated all of my spreadsheet last night. Um, that took a few hours because I had to update all of the videos that came in, but not all the videos but all of the uh, diamond paintings that came in and I updated the ones, like the status of the ones that I finished and you know, what needed to be done next in terms of um, framing or whatever. And, um, and I, had, I had been a busy bee over the holidays. And I'll tell you later about my um, adventures in, in ordering another 48 diamond paintings. And, uh, and what happened with that um, when I do my drilling check. 48 diamond paintings. I ordered four or five, I can't remember, on January 2nd. 
and then I ordered 44 more on January 3rd and that was anyway that was exciting and I was so so happy because uh, I thought I'm gonna have this great great big ginormous haul in uh, you know early February hopefully and then last night as I was doing the data entry it was I started going because one of the things that a lot of my subscribers and commenters have asked for is links to the diamond paintings that I uh, that I do unboxings for so last night I also went in and uploaded links to all the diamond paintings that are still available there are a couple or three that are no longer available and they happen to be some of the more popular ones but anyway that's uh, that's sad I, I'll, I might keep an eye out for for those to see whether they come back um, and I also was adding links into my spreadsheet so that when I do the video uploads, I can just copy and paste links from the spreadsheet into the uh, description for the diamond painting. And since I was looking at the links anyway, I took a more detailed look at the descriptions because my spreadsheet also talks about, uh, like it also has a column for the size of the diamond painting. And so, for example, a lot of these, uh, the size is listed as, 30 by 40. But then when you look into the fine print, um, it's it that's the size of the canvas. The picture, the drill area is actually, you know, 33 by 24 or something like that, which um, for the detail of the diamond paintings that I was choosing were not like it wasn't sufficient. Like it would it would not make for a, a nice finished product. So, um, so I canceled the order. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll talk a little bit more about that because, uh, when I canceled the order, it literally disappeared from the website. And so my PayPal account has been charged and I wrote to the company, which I'll get into and describe the company and all that stuff. Uh, later I wrote to the company last night and said, um, I trust I'm going to get my money back, right? Okay. So, uh, but that's for later. So this one, oh, I knew I was missing something. I cleaned off the table before I went away because I didn't want my kitty cats uh, knocking pens under couches and so forth. So um, anyway, so let's see what we've got. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, and 42 colors. Okay. Um, so 42 colors, that's, uh, that's quite a few. And they tell you the uh, DMC number and how many bits and how many packages you get for each one. So let us take a look at the diamond painting. So this one here, I call her Butterfly Girl, but I think I should call her Peacock Girl. So I'm going to change the name. Um, okay, so it's uh, Peacock Girl. And she is supposed to be 40 by 60 centimeters. And I will use my trusty uh, tape measure to confirm that. Because one of the things that I don't like is when they give you the canvas measurement as opposed to the drill area measurement. It's fine if they tell you what the drill area is because you can make an informed decision. But if they don't, then you end up getting a picture that's not gonna be as detailed. Um, I'm less concerned when there's an inch or like a, a centimeter or two difference between you know what they say the drill area is versus what it actually is. You know, sometimes it's 39 instead of 40. That's okay. But if it's 34 or 33 instead of 40, that, that bugs me. Okay, so let's do a measurement first. And this appears to be all one strip of uh, tape that's on here. So the, the paper hasn't been cut, which means there's only one strip of double-sided uh, adhesive on, on this. Okay, and so the drill area is, yeah, it's 40 centimeters wide. I probably should have straightened the canvas first. 
Yeah, it's 40 centimeters exactly. And the tape does not extend too far uh, beyond, like, you know, maybe half a centimeter or so, uh, beyond the top. And on the sides, it doesn't extend at all. It's, uh, it's, it's exactly the right size. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is, this is all rolled up. Yeah, it's, um, oh, yeah, it's exactly 60. It's exactly 60. Okay, so uh, truth in advertising. Okay, and it is a round. Um, no, it's a square. That's it. Yes, it is. It's a square. Um, I got it on AliExpress from the Color Whisper store. Uh, it was an 1111 buy. Oh, I didn't update the shipping because I didn't know what the shipping was. Um, and my phone is in the holder, so I'll uh, I'll put that information in a little card um, and post it uh, and include it in the video right here. Okay. So the total cost was $22.13 for this, which I think is a really good price because that's Canadian, right? Um, like that's about $14 American um, for a 40 by 60 with 42 colors. Um, and let's take a look at the, let's take a look at the back. All right, so uh, there's a little air bubble here, but I don't think that, I don't think that that's, the glue I think it's just the paper and here there's looks like there might be a little river um, I don't know if you can I hope you can see that so let's uh, pull back the paper and do a reveal on the peacock girl All right. oh I ran the Roomba yesterday when I got home because two cats shed a tremendous amount, but there's still a bit of cat hair around. Okay, so just from this tippy top corner, um, the drill field is exceptionally clear, like super, super clear. And it's got symbols that are letters and easily, well, and, and the kinds of symbols that you would find on a regular keyboard. Um, so uh, I will be happy with this. I'll show you the drill field in just a bit. And I'll show you the legend as well. Well, I'll show you the um, inventory sheet. Ooh, that's a lot of color. Okay, this is, this is really nice. This is really, <laughs> I'm loving the photo, like the picture. Yeah, that's nice and sticky. Yeah, it's very sticky. Okay, that's enough. Um, okay, I, I, because this one is so curled up, I am, uh, oh, there's a little bit of, okay. There is a little bit of glue here that uh, there's a river. So I'm getting my trusty X-Acto knife and my trusty drill pen. Okay. And so I'm just going to cut the river of glue without cutting the, the canvas. All right, that should be enough. And then, well, actually I'll use the tip of my pen. Let's flatten that out. I think that's pretty good. There's a small residual dip in the canvas, but I but but the glue is not um, it's not lifted off the canvas there anymore. So that 
appears to have worked well. Um, light on it in such a way that I can see. Yeah, that yeah, that problem problem is solved. Oh, now it's oh no, now it's stuck to my table. Which is a nice thing about having a glass table. It's relatively clean. You don't have to worry too much about that. Okay. Um so I'm gonna normally I pull the tape back a lot further, but because this is uh, or I pulled the paper back a lot further before I show you, but because this is um, so curled up, I'm, you know what, I'm gonna lay this back down. Oh, I'm gonna lay this back down. And lift the other side. Oops. And then I'll show you the whole thing. good condition no question but boy is it a curly canvas very very curly I should have rolled it the other way oops and maybe it's not too late to do but so now I have flipped the paper slightly but that's okay right. no harm done I thought maybe they were tiny, not rivers, but maybe teeny tiny little streams or rivulets, but they're not. They're, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Okay, so let me lay this down to flatten the canvas. Okay, now I'll pull it up again and show you in all its glory. That's, that's as far as I'm going to go because I don't want the paper coming off completely. All right. And I'll show you the drill field as well. So, let's see. Let's get her face in here. Uh, I'm taking a risk. But, okay, so there's her face, her eye, her nose, her beautiful lips. And I'll just come in a little bit closer so you can see the quality of the drill field. Now I don't want to stick it to my phone. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what I'll be diamond painting. It doesn't get much clearer than that. The symbols are easily distinguished. The printing is crystal clear. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, so that's that. Let me roll it up again, or cover it up again. Um, and I'll show you the... Uh, I'm awkwardly jammed between the coffee table and the couch. And, uh, so I hope the angle on this is not too terrible. Okay. So she's beautiful. I'm very happy with her. Um, I'll show you the. Oops. 
show you the legend. So there's my, there's the thumbnail with all those gorgeous colors. And then the symbols and the DMCs. I'm trying to move these quickly enough that you don't fall asleep waiting for me to get on with it. But also slowly enough so that I don't make you sick. Because that would not be nice. Okay, so there you go. Um, so that's that. Happy with the canvas. Looking forward to getting to that uh, at some point. Now, to do the, um, whatchamacallit, inventory. I'm going to pause you and move you, move the, the camera so that, uh, so that it gets a better look. And I'll try and, do, uh, and expand it so that you get a better close-up. Okay, so I um, think that's the way I'm gonna set this up. Um, so these are the these are the colors. Um, they're very pretty. Uh, not as not as vibrant and jewel like as I usually pick, but looking at the thumbnail on the inventory sheet and on the painting itself, I think it's gonna really be beautiful in terms of the color. I'm just trying to figure out exactly where I have to have the sheet so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna move the beads a little bit out of the way so that so that you can see better. Okay. That's about as flat as I can get it. All right, so let's do the inventory. Twenty-one, one, four, fifty-three, two. Oh, and I see. Uh, I haven't noticed before, but this has been ticked by hand. Uh, it looks like somebody just very quickly went through, not checking individual numbers, but uh, but we'll see. Three nine. No, that's eight ninety-one. One. 158, three, 436, six. Yes, oh, and look, there is a stowaway there. 436, six. Okay. Um, supposed to have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do and as always, uh, go ahead, skip through to the end if you like. Um, but please do watch the end uh, after I finish the inventory because I usually do a little bit of chatting. Not a lot, but uh, because I have some more that I want to uh, film today. Um, okay, this is 823. I'm supposed to have 11 of those. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yep. 723. Okay. 761 is supposed to have 2, and I do. 7. 78. Some of the um, packages are not as clear as others. And as I'm going along, like the packages, like the diamonds flow loosely within the packages, so I haven't come across any that appear to be oily. I haven't noted any trash, and I also haven't noted any um, cupped diamonds or um, conca uh, conca concave diamonds. So, um, so that's something. Okay, 666, 1554. Oh, I don't want to get my head in the picture. Uh, one, so I have to sit very primly here. Uh, 451, four. 152, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
154. Oh, and I haven't had my morning coffee yet. It's uh, 11.36 and um, yeah, so it's time. This is my first cup of coffee since coming back from my uh, Christmas holiday, in, well, after Christmas holiday in London, so I'm gonna enjoy this. My sister-in-law who I was staying with uh, to help her with her new baby, um, doesn't drink coffee. So she also, because she had been living at her mother's place for the last, since she got pregnant, um, she also had uh, not had internet at the apartment. So they're coming to hook it up, um, I guess this week, but my phone did not work well without the internet boost. So it works for everything except anything that's uh, video intensive. So I could not get YouTube uh, to load and I could not get Gmail to load, oddly enough. Um, and so I couldn't get all of the apps that I use uh, to support my YouTube uh, creator channel. Um, 967. Oh, and this last one was, uh, what was that, 500, and that was two as well, okay. 818.3, uh, yeah, so um, when I absolutely had to check, um, you know, when I, when I felt myself just needing uh, to see what was going on uh, in the world, uh, like I couldn't get CNN either, and I, I, I'm a CNN junkie. Um, I became a junkie at my father's place because he has CNN going pretty much night and day. And so I became familiar with the personalities and so forth. Um, anyway, so I, when I got cable at home again, I, uh, I made sure they connected me to CNN. Okay, 677, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. yep. Um, anyway, so I would go to the Tim Hortons. That was a couple of, uh, Couple of blocks away, three, five, okay. That's 550, that's rich, rich purple. And you know, either sit in the coffee shop and have a, uh, a coffee, and sadly, a donut. Um, I didn't always, so if I was walking the dogs, then I would just stand outside with the dogs and, uh, and check YouTube, uh, leaned up against the wall of the Tim Hortons. It was like, I don't know, it was so pathetic. Um, but anyway. Uh, I was fine whenever I went to my dad's or my sister's. Uh, 645. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, but yeah, so I spent most of December without access to the internet between the cru cruise ship and, um, and staying in, in London with my sister-in-law. Um, which again, I'll talk a little bit about that uh, in the drill with me later. Uh, 803, Yeah, so, so far these drills are all seeming very, very good. Uh, last night, I don't know what it was about last night, I, I had such a craving to just diamond paint in my own space. I, I did diamond paint at my sister-in-law's. Uh, she, she had like a little coffee table that I was, not a coffee table, but a side table. And I stuck a, a shelf from a shelving unit on it. And I was able to spread my, my big diamond painting out there and my supplies and stuff and my, my, uh, light pad. And, um, so I was able to diamond paint, no problem. Um, but it wasn't the same as being in my own space. So yesterday, the first thing I unpacked, uh, after getting the dog's food and all that stuff was my diamond painting and set it up on my uh, drafting table and diamond painted for well probably until about 4 30 in the morning uh, even though I was really tired I just wanted to diamond paint uh, so anyway so I got my little fix um, okay 819 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 yeah sure. Seven 
Okay, I'm back. Um, while I was in London and Kitchener visiting my daughter, at some point I lost the garage door opener for the underground parking. So that was the um, caretaker for the condo building telling me he's got a spare for me, uh, which he'll be bringing up momentito. $7.98. I got four and I need four. Oh yeah, okay, I already did that one. $7.93. I need four, and I've got four. Seven ninety-two. I need three, and I got three. Well, I'm just gonna move these a little bit closer. Um, thirty. Hmm, what number is that? I think it's thirty-three, thirty-two. Let's see. No, nope, apparently it's thirty-eight, thirty-two. Okay, uh, and there's four. Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, so that was the caretaker. He uh, he gave me another garage door opener. I thought I'd have to pay for it, but no. Um, anyway, he's, he's, he's a super nice guy. He owned the land before the building was built here. And then he was involved in the building. I don't know how. Um, and then, but he was he was pretty much on site the entire time that the condo building was going up. And then, so he knows all of the systems here. He knows the HVAC, he knows everything. Um, the ventilation, everything. He knows everything about this building. And uh, so they kept him on as a caregiver, a uh, caretaker rather. And so he kind of, like he's not the man, he works for the management company, but he's here all day, pretty much every day. He doesn't live here though. And, um, and he helps out with everything uh, to do with maintenance and stuff. Um, not cleaning or anything, but anyway, we've had problems. We've had floods. We've had various things. Uh, but he's a little creepy. Like he's about, I don't know, he's got to be like around 70 or 80. I'm not that old. Like I'm in my fifties and I started feeling like he had, mm, let's say an unreturned level of affection for me. Uh, so I've been trying to keep my distance from him, like be nice, but you know, not, not huggy, not, you know, not, I don't invite him in for coffee or anything like that, which makes me feel a little awkward because, you know, if somebody's doing something nice for you, the least you can do is offer them a coffee. Um, but I just, I don't want to encourage him. Anyway, so there was an awkward thing at the door where he, uh, where he wanted a New Year's hug. So I let him have a New Year's hug. Um, but anyway, it's New Year's. What the heck? Okay, so seven ninety four, and now I have my garage door opener. Does that make me a terrible person? I don't know. Seven ninety four two. Um. Okay, three eight four two. Seven one two three four five six seven. Oh yeah, and I think what I was saying uh, before the door knock was. Um, but last night while I was doing my drill with me, for some reason, the drills I was working with, even though I've got little uh, bits of dryer sheets and all of the containers that I store the diamonds in, they were so staticky. Oh, it was when I was pouring new drills in. Um, they were so crazy staticky. I actually had drills that were dancing out of the tray when I would shake the tray. And when that happened the first couple of times, I thought, oh, maybe I'm just shaking it too hard. Maybe I'm too tired or whatever. But then I realized, no, that was a very gentle shake. And they just, like, they literally, they leaped, leapt. They leapt out of the tray. Uh, anyway, uh, so uh, I don't know if my place is too dry or what, but, uh, but static, I've got some. Uh, 37, 26, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, this is the longest inventory ever because of all of these interruptions and, and my going on and on and on. 30, 31, 2. 6, 47, 4. 37, 13, 3. Yeah, so my building is mostly retirees. I think the younger people who live here, of which there are a few, um, they, I, 
they either live in the you know uh, small one bedrooms or um, or they rent from condo owners and uh, but most of most of the people are you know 60s 70s 80s uh, I think I'm one of the younger uh, owners um, there are of course exceptions but um, yeah so I don't know maybe I'm young meat for him or something like that anyway, 3865 six one two three four five six one fifty four four thirty eight thirty five four thirty seventy two two thirty eight sixty three four Yep, and the diamonds all look to be in pretty good condition. I must say, I still haven't seen trash or um, cupping. So that's good. Oh, this is a pretty color, 820. Hmm. Supposed to have 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay. Four, eight, two, uh -huh. and this is 939, which I call the alternative to 310s. And 939, so I'm supposed to have 43. Holy smokes! Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, what? Okay, they seem to have given me more. And one of them has a tiny little rip, I think. So let me just get a sandwich baggie to put this in. Uh, 823. No, what is it? 939. 40. Yeah, I got 45. Plus two. Okay. Uh, ooh. 3865. I'm sure I saw 3865. Let's, I, I just want to go down and see if I'm missing anything. And 37.52 and 38.65. All right, let me just mark those. Oh, I found one. 37.52 was on the floor. That's good. Uh, and 38.65, I'm sure I have it. Um, yeah, but I see it. 38.65, there we go. All right, because I remarked, I remarked in my head on, oh, that's like a, a, a creamy white. Okay, so that's it. Diamond painting is done. So this is the peacock girl. And this is AliExpress color whisper. Okay, and how much did I pay for that? Oh yeah, 22 33 I got a $1.77 discount on the 11-11 uh, sale. So that's that. Um, everything looks to be fine. Drills all seem to be good quality. The canvas is lovely. I, I mean, I'm going to show you this again. Yes. There's my peacock girl. Okay. Look at that. She's beautiful. I mean, she's beautiful and she's all bent up. Um, but yeah, she's gorgeous. So I'm going to look forward to doing that. And that's it for this video. Um, 
So I'll be posting this one, let's see, today's the 7th. Uh, I might post it today. I might post it, whatever. Um, I might post it today. Um, and then I'll post the others every couple of days thereafter. But, uh, but I'm going to shoot them all now. Okay, so there we go. On to the next one. Thank you for your attention. Um, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, I am actually thinking about doing a live drill and chat. I've never done that before. And so um, it's, I'd have to figure out how that, how that works. I think it's probably pretty simple. Um, but, uh, but I haven't done it, so I'll have to look into it. But I'm thinking about doing that, and I might do that in the next few days. Um, and I will, of course, give notice uh, in advance. Uh, I'll have to figure out how to post that. Um, but I think YouTube makes that easy as well. They seem to make everything easy. Um, yeah, because uh, I love interacting with you all in your comments. And, um, and when I've watched somebody else's, uh, live stream. I, I really like seeing all the comments coming up and, and, uh, and the interaction. And so that, that I think would be really rewarding for me. Um, because it would be, I don't know, I just, I just love you guys. So, um, so look forward to that in the next few days or week or so. And, um, and there we go. Until next time, I want to thank all of my new subscribers and my older subscribers um, for your loyalty to my channel, uh, and for your interest in my channel and, and the, the videos that I upload. Um, thank you so much for your comments and your likes, and I hope you keep coming back, uh, and bringing your friends to this channel. If you have friends who diamond paint or friends who, uh, might want to get into it, that you think might want to get into it or kids or whatever, um, I actually, one of the things that uh, when I'm searching for videos, like I'm in my mid fifties now, so there's not a lot of children in my life. Um, but, cause my daughter doesn't have any. And uh, most of my friends, their kids are not old enough to have children. So it's my, my ex-husband's family, uh, my sisters-in-law who are having babies. And, um, and so, you know, I'm doing diamond paintings for them, but, uh, and, and it's fun, you know, doing the poo and doing, you know, I'd love to do some of the Disney princesses and stuff. Um, but, uh, but if, but I don't have kids to give them all to, right? There's only so many paintings that you can give to your sisters-in-law. Um, but, uh, but I come across these gorgeous diamond paintings of, you know, various, cartoons and I've never had like boy babies around me um but it's always been girl babies for some reason except for my godson and well my two godsons actually uh one of them is my nephew but that was many years ago um but you know like I see some of the the boy stuff transformer video uh, diamond paintings and and cars and all that stuff and and I think you know those would be fun to do too um anyway uh, but I need somebody to give them to, and, uh, and my, my nephew is not just born, so, uh, so he won't be getting any of those for some time, and my older nephew, well, he just turned 14 on New Year's Day, so, uh, he's kind of beyond some of this stuff, um, but anyway, so there you go, that's it, I want to thank you all, thanks for your attention, thanks for watching, if you like this kind of thing, please like my video, and if you haven't subscribed, why don't you? You can always unsubscribe later if you decide you don't like it. Thanks. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.